Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Jessica and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Narsimha Naidu, founder and CEO of STEMX India, shared how his company sets up robotics and AI labs in schools using a Japanese curriculum and trained mentors. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what sir had to say. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. We have with us a very special guest. He is Mr. Narsimha Naidu, founder and CEO, STEMX India. So, welcome to the summit here. Thank How's you. How's your experience being here? It was always a pleasure coming to Time to Grow because it's almost uh, since 2021 we have been mm -hmm. uh, tied up with uh, Time to uh, Time right. to Grow summits. Yeah, and uh, it's almost three, four cities we always participate in a Time to Grow event. Yep. Thank you, sir. So, what is Temex India? Tell us, tell the viewers who are just you know new to the concept. So, what is Temex India, and what is your specialty? Okay, Temex India is. Uh, company where we provide robotics and AI for mm -hmm. uh, school education. We yeah, set up labs mm -hmm. and also we uh, deploy our engineers who have studied uh, mm -hmm. like AI, ML or data science in engineering right. from reputed colleges mm -hmm. and they will be mentoring uh, students in, okay. in, the, in the schools and mm -hmm. also we uh, have been uh, working with schools with Japanese based curriculum in, mm -hmm. in terms of robotics and AI. So you, you, you all know that Japanese is meant for technologies driven uh, Absolutely. country, right? So we uh, use Japanese curriculum for STEM programs. Okay, yeah. that's great. So how are you collab collaborating with schools in India? And uh, what's your vision and mission in the next five years? Like how do you see yourself? Okay, so uh, currently we are working with around 250 schools mm -hmm. across India, majorly yeah. being South, mm -hmm. like say 70% in South and not 70, 80% in South and 20% in North. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would like to, like say, balance it like 50-50. Mm. Uh, maybe uh, in another five years, we would like to reach 1,000 schools. Right. And 500 in, uh, not 500, maybe it would be 700 in South and 300 schools in North India. That's our vision. Mm, that's yeah. great, sir. So, as you've just talked about Japanese curriculum, so you have entered into Japan as well. How has been the experience and how it is different from, you know, teaching uh, technology in India and abroad. Okay, so it's basically uh, we have a strategic collaboration with a company called uh, KTC Holdings Japan. Okay. In, it, it's, a, it's a Japanese based company okay. and uh, it was there in um, a fee, uh, uh, industry since 51 years. Right. Right. And then they had to come to India uh -huh. and explore opportunities. Okay. So now uh, North India is something where we are working together uh -huh. and South Stemex alone. And the same we are implementing in North India as well. And for your question, um, like say Japan, uh, we we in India we start from grade one, right? Teaching yeah. A B C D one two three right. or addition subtraction all of this. In Japan, if you say till fourth class, there yeah. is no studies. Right? right, it's purely teaching uh, ethics, how to how to respect elders, and say uh, how to clean your stuff or how to uh, arrange things at home. No. Uh, all this they teach in school. Right. right, so that's one difference which I have seen, and even Indian schools started. I, right. I have seen that in uh, the IB schools, right, right, where they more work on hands-on mm -hmm. and also the teaching uh, uh, ethics or respecting elders. Or I mean, slowly it will come to even CBSE, ICSC, and state syllabus as well. Yeah, we hope so. So, like our educated viewers are watching. So, what is that one-line message you want to give them? So, what you know, they can choose you and make the uh, educational life transformation yes. so if you say it's almost uh, it's our ninth year mm -hmm. right close to a decade right but still if you say we are working only with 220 schools okay. it's not that we can reach 1000 schools mm -hmm. the only thing what we have is the quality right. right once a customer is with us they'll be with us right so our conversion ratio is always 98% right so we keep adding customers huh. and maintain that quality so that uh, the school the parents the children are all satisfied with our uh, uh, services. That's yeah. great to hear, sir. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Thank you. And it was an absolute pleasure to have you here. And thank you so much for time to grow once again, mm -hmm. because it's uh, it's one summit where we don't miss it. Right. We also participate in others. Right. But which which has given us a very good uh, uh, result mm -hmm. in terms of business. Right. That uh, thanks for uh, that. Thank you so thank much, you. sir. That thank was you. such a kind compliment. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did. Save the number 8534845670 and send hi on WhatsApp for updates on the Eduleaders show featuring inspiring interviews from the education sector.